What is happening now? Welcome to winter. It's hard to press on the buttons yeah, you have with really, these gloves. Yeah, really big gloves. It's hard to press on the buttons with these gloves. Ah! So today it's a warm day of winter per se and we're gonna shoot in the snow. Oh, I hate to have a hard time with the focus. Oh! It's hard! Ah! We had some sparklers left and we wanted to use them in the snow. It's tonight. Tonight. Do you see that? Again? <sighs> yeah, so... This, this is the 24 millimeters, but I feel like we should shoot very wide around here. So 14, it's gonna be better. We have perfect conditions. Like we, we shot in the snow many times and usually it's panic mode right away when we go out of the car. Now it's not too bad, so. And we're so well prepared. Everything is ready. Triggers already on the camera. So 14 millimeter. Gonna test the composition. Obviously, I'm trying to avoid any footprints. Yeah, but we have better lines in that direction, but the the foreground is not very good. Okay, so that's the first option right here, but we'll continue a little bit. Come with me. <laughs> Okay, second option, looking good. It's a bit risky, but we'll start this direction. It's so dark, it's not the blue hour yet, but it's like the clouds are so thick. It's dark. Okay, I need my tripod. When I designed this pouch, I wanted rubber on the bottom part so I'd be able to drop everything in the mud, in the snow, in orange juice. Ah, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Getting ready for the show. Oh yes. Are you okay? Yeah. I prefer to shoot at the beach. Three, two, one. Uh, we're currently testing the composition, the brightness of the tube. We're about 10 minutes too early, which is better than being 10 minutes too late. Yeah. The main problem now is just that the light painting doesn't have any effect on the surroundings, but it's gonna go very fast. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can test with one of the sparkers. Oh, that, that's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> okay, it's starting to make sense now. So I'm at 14 on this one. This camera is supposed to be there only for filming, but at 24 millimeters it might look better on this one so as I already installed my trigger is gonna be easy to switch from video to photo so I have to wait a little bit we could pro probably test uh, one sparkler so the empty space is gonna be on your right side yeah. Maybe you can do the intro of the song and try to blend it from here. Yeah. Okay, go.
I guess it feels better now. <laughs> a bit warmer. <laughs> How was it? Interesting. Well, it's like the blue hour, it's always really short and it's always like a lot of things to think about. But then it's like exponential because of the cold. So like our hands are cold so we feel kind of clumsy in everything we do so we're less efficient and we don't have more time so it's kind of I think it's more stressful but mainly for you because you have more things to manage wait right? wait wait I'm, I'm not the one wearing only a small I dress I know I'm it's colder but I have less tasks to achieve you know Forget everything I said about the perfect settings in cases like this, at least. It's good to know the rules, like the basic things, like how to manage the beginning of the blue hour, the, the Milky Way. But once you master everything, it's just easier to work in that kind of situations where suddenly nothing works the usual way. I couldn't get the, the background anyway, it was, it was not interesting, like the sky was not great. In that exact situation, I just needed to have a, like a beautiful light in the surroundings, in the trees, and uh, the sparklers were perfect for this, but I didn't have the same settings at all as I'm used to at this exact time. It was the end of the blue hour, so usually I, I would I've been at ISO 1600 or something and I was at I think ISO 400 F 6.3 or something and the flashlight was at max power but I really wanted like, to get the ambience right way over the, the sky the sky didn't matter at that point like, I just wanted to, to have beautiful light on the on the snow on the trees and so the, these were the great settings for this exact shot and why I'm talking about this is that the perfect settings are about that normal situation when you have no clouds, you're facing the sunset, uh, you know like just the, the basic stuff so you understand how it's happening in these conditions. Once you know and you kind of master this, um, it kind of gives you the knowledge to play around with any other type of situation that, that what's happened tonight. I was going nowhere tonight, like I was frustrated because it was hard to work with the gloves. Ah! Every time I was trying to hit the button, I was hitting five buttons. <clears throat> Nothing was working, but once we got a bit deeper, in, in the forest, so suddenly I just started to ignore the, the sky and it worked. So, so by mastering the perfect settings, it's easier to enter drastically different situations very quickly. I didn't have time. We were freezing. Kim was freezing. Of course, it was, it was cold. So, so start by mastering these, these perfect settings and then everything gets so much easier in situations like this. It would be the same in a, in a city or mm -hmm. in a cave behind a waterfall in, in different conditions. We teach so much about the blue hour working uh, in deserts, uh, the beach where you always have that perfect blue sky, but there are so many other kind of situations that you have to manage but once you master the basic things it just feels simpler and one of the main reasons why I couldn't get the this this the sky behind me was because I, I was putting the emphasis on the sparklers and these sparklers are so bright that it was just not possible to to balance like when, when you want to get the sky later at night you lower the brightness of the flush but you cannot do this with these super bright sparklers but anyway I want to have those trees to glow and if I would have just used the regular tube with a flashlight dimmed down at 100 lumens 
would have mm -hmm. worked. Like the, the the trees would have disappeared. I would have get my my sky, but nothing more. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that particular situation, it was not really worth it or not as interesting mm -hmm. as what you were you decided to go for. Okay, so that's it for tonight. I'm going back tomorrow. It's gonna be colder tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's gonna be colder and it's gonna be cloudy again. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we'll manage that, so maybe we're going to focus on finding that perfect composition with the trees, yeah. which was so hard tonight. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Traverse de chien de traîneau. Traverse de chien de traîneau.